another video. Hold on, let me fix this camera. Let me fix this camera. Like, I have my TV on, so you might see a glitter on my face. But I hope this is good enough light. I turned my light on my phone because that ain't gonna work. I think I should turn this TV on. No, it's okay. So, you guys, I, I have important questions. Don't mind me sweating stuff. I just got done doing workouts. I tell you to do this work, um, video because I get a break for bed. Something like that. So, um, we going to start with some um, some important questions. We're going to start with the important question or the side question that everybody want to know because everybody be DMing me and texting me about questions and stuff like that. So, let's start with number one. Um, How do you do YouTube? Uh, I mean, you just got to be consistent. I know I haven't been consistent like that because, to be honest, guys, I need video ideas. And I don't even know what to do. It's like the ideas that come to my head is like, I already did them or uh, I need somebody to do it. And everybody in my house don't want to do videos. I don't know why. They can't much or something like that. But I understand because I was scared at first to uh, if record in public. But you know, I think I might, I'm gonna do a vlog tomorrow. I ain't gonna bite no none of that. I'm gonna do a vlog tomorrow because I really need to get back on my track. Um, YouTube is not hard. You just gotta keep finding videos and, excuse me, interact with your audience. Basically, I have some subscribers and I need everybody to comment down below video I did. I don't know why, but I need everybody to comment down below because every time I ask a question, no one responds. So, you guys, my hair is kind of uneven, so don't matter. But anyway, that's how I redo YouTube. So I just get out videos. I keep uploading. I basically put what people want to see. I mean, it's going to be hard because you are an upcoming YouTuber. You have nobody to help you, and it's hard to get up to where you got to get for you to get accepted by YouTube. Um, I'm not there yet, and it's like kind of hard because I am folks on school i have a big test that's coming up then i get um on top of that i'm working on getting a job which i find one then on top of that i worry about uploading and finding schedule and just so much stuff because then i gotta get ready i have i put myself on i still gotta work out even if it's five o'clock in the morning or it's at night it's like because i do my i wake up at five o'clock in the morning every day for school so I get up and do my exercise. Then I uh, drink home water before I eat. not do anything. I drink water. Then when I get home, I take a nap and then I get up. And basically, I, I start doing exercise for an hour. So it's like I gotta find ways of what I can do and how I'm gonna fit this schedule. So I think I'm gonna start uploading Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. I think that's gonna be my new schedule so it give me time to process the videos and what I wanna do because right now, I'm very struggling because I'm still trying to fix my fit. It's like a whole bunch of stuff. But this is number two. Number two. Um, number two. What was the other question they was asking me? Um, oh. Do you. No, it wasn't do you. It's do, how do you take um people. Well, people don't say that to me. But somebody asked me how do you build, deal with your self-confidence and stuff like that. To be honest, I did have the nights where I was basically being myself because I didn't like my weight and crying every night because I didn't like my weight. But I only did it in my room because no one knows and I just like because I turned my lights on and listen listening to music. But I was literally just being in my room and deal with it and try to pray about it. But I came to the conclusion that you just sitting there crying and not doing nothing about it is not going to help. Because it is to the point where you, you you cry and you have two de two definitions of depression. So one of the depression is that you get depressed and don't want to eat. It makes you lose you lose harmful weight, which that means that's bad. Like, you lose weight that you don't want to be losing. Then you have the other depression when you constantly eat and you're building more fat in your body. And you'll see a massive uh, weight loss. So I had to, I had to get out of that crying stage and just told myself, and I downloaded pictures because pictures are like my favorite app because it always give me ideas. So I went to pictures and 
I had went to my dietitian. Well, it, for me, since I'm 16 year old, I wanted a dietitian so she could help me with stuff. So, for me, I went to my dietitian. She was telling me that um, to don't eat white bread, stuff like that, which I currently do not eat pork no more. I do not drink regular milk no more. I don't drink almond milk. So, um, I just watch when I eat. And... I eat small portions, like, and I also learned that don't eat fast, eat slow, because if you eat fast, it's like, it's not gonna digest right. So don't eat fast. Also, when when people t ask me about self confidence, I I I have Pinterest, so I look up um motivational quotes, and I will put the link of mine down below from Pinterest, and you can go there. I have different out um different categories for different stuff like workouts. Um, juice diet, um, motivational, inspirational quotes, um, and I use my inspirational quotes for my home screen and lock screen. Cause right now, currently, my lock screen is um, it says you're worth it, and then my lock screen says love yourself. So those are my everyday motivation quotes when I wake up in the morning. I look at my phone, but I change it every week so I can keep like reminding myself. Also, pray. Don't don't think you're gonna see results in a one day or two. Because okay, I originally started my weight loss in January, which I always I've been I took a little break, but it was still in January and I started back going faster in February. So I really been doing my work for like two months now and I really have been seeing some changes. It's like my stomach. I don't know if I've seen the change or I don't, but everybody keeps saying I do, but I feel like everybody's just telling me that so I can feel like I am until I can see my stomach go down. It's like I don't want all my stomach gone, but I just want the unwanted fat off. Like, I'm, I still want my chunk of stomach, but the unfat, unwanted fat can go. So, that's the other question. Number three. Um, would you do a weight loss journey video? I actually am. I'm just scared to upload the before and after pictures because of... But that is a point of weight loss journey, so... I am going to do one, just wait because I'm doing it um, before, then I'm doing the middle, then I'm doing the after. Then I'm going to do everything I did. Just wait on it. Um, what else did it say? Um, oh, one, some, one of the girls had come, I mean, damn me about, um, I think it was my skin. I'm sorry, I can't even talk my head out there right now. But she asked me. Why do I love doing YouTube? I know I just kind of similar to the other question I asked, but I love doing YouTube because I want to express myself to people and want to share my life with people to where I came from and what, how I go up. Because there's a lot of people that forget where they come from when they go up and go up in life. And I, I don't think I'll be, I'm not going to be one of them person. Oh, this is my song that's actually playing, but um. I'm not going to be one of the people where I forget where I came from. Because at the end of the day, me forgetting where I came from not going to change the fact that the nights that when I was wishing that I was there and I was wishing that I wanted to get there so bad and because I was bored and I had nothing to do. Like, I was, I'm literally, I've been literally just wishing that I wish I was here. I wish I was there. I wish I was there. Because me watching other YouTube, I don't know if other people do this, but I have a good tent of watching people and then... Once I've been watching, I'll be like, oh, I wish that was dumb, stuff like that. I always think like that, so I'm like, like, it's like, that's how I think because I just can't wait to get it. Now, once I get there, I won't figure where I came from because at the end of the day, it was rough for me to get it from here to up there, which I'm not up there yet, but it's like, I'm doing a good example. But I want to get up there so bad because me, I just, I don't know. I just want to. And... I want to be able to provide for me and help my family out, stuff like that. But a lot of people just ask me about my weight and how I deal with it and how my skin turned out. Really, my skin is not perfect at all. I just been trying to get it clear, but I really think I need an extra boost. So I'm looking into a dermatologist, which I have to get referred from my doctor. But I really going to go to a dermatologist because it's like. Mom bumps are not, it's regular, but it's like, I have l larger pores, which I maybe break out on this side, as you guys see, because I have dark spots, and this side is just, 
black spots and they appear i really don't break out right here no more but it's like little bumps that come right there they got bumps on my eyebrows and then some come around my mouth so i'm like i need extra boo for my dermatologist so he could so he or she could look at my skin and help me and stuff like that but weight loss um i just say don't don't my problem was i was trying to go on a diet but basically you can eat what you want just watch how you eat it but also if you don't see the change in your weight or you think it's like you you think you're big actually i learned that it's just your muscles that's building up because i was 173 i think i am 173 but i'm scared i'm kind of scared to stuff on the scale because every time i stop on scale and i see my number go up i get irritated and then i feel like i'm not doing something right that i want to change everything over so and that's what I've been like. I want to get lipo. I want to get lipo. I want to get lipo. And I'm like, everybody tell you no, you not, you don't need lipo. But I mean, if I want it, I'm gonna get it. So I don't know. But if I just say how you do with your weight, just eat right. Don't eat too much. Don't eat junk food. I do not eat junk food unless it's a little. Don't eat junk food. Cause if you eat junk food, me like me, I I'm tempted to eat it again. Um, drink cranberry juice. Drink lemon water. Don't drink it every day because it messes up your um teeth. Um, make sure you drink some water. Um, I try apple cider vinegar. I, that's what I'm trying right now. Uh, I, I'm actually for a try flat tummy tea, which you get rid of the bloatiness and helps your weight go down. And take it slow. I I was doing 15 minute workouts to 30 work to 30 minutes workouts, and then now I'm doing I will I will 30 minutes workout. Just take it slow. How however your body reacts to it, and make sure you do stretch before before the workout and when if you do work out at night do bedtime stretches because you don't want to sleep and wake up your body sore because that's what i did and my whole cell hurt right here and i don't know also i walk around with two waist trainers on every day i'm sometimes sleeping on um I, like i can't shower that baby i go on then i sleep with them i wake up with them and i wash them then i do the same over and over so i think that would give you a boost but guys, this video is like so long, so I'm going to end it right here because I have to film another video. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. If you want more questions like this, comment down below. Um, Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications. Share my YouTube channel. Make, try and get me, get me to a thousand subscribers up to It's my goal, but I'm on the road to 500. So, I need you guys to help me up there. And I love you guys. Bye.